Come out of the world, oh my people. Hello, everybody. Uh, I wanted to make a video today that is uh, just very interesting timing. Uh, a situation happened uh, yesterday in my home, and today a lady posted to my Torah Life Ministries Facebook group a video about the same important topic that uh, occurred to me yesterday. So I figured with the timing and everything, I have to make this video because we do need to talk about a topic like this. And basically, last night, my daughter came home with a bag that she got from her, her mother's house. And there was a shirt in that bag. And she felt good enough to tell me that she knew I would agree with the shirt, because oftentimes I don't agree with the shirt of, or the clothing of her mother. And her mother and I are, are divorced. So we have this situation we have to deal with. And uh, anyway, I approved of the shirt, but then my daughter was standing there with the bag and she says there's something else that her mother put in the bag. And she was nervous to tell me. I said, well, what is it? And she proceeded to take it out. And it was something I'm very against for pretty much any woman, but especially a young girl. And it was lip gloss. And didn't surprise me just knowing uh, the situation, but but I certainly was not going to allow that. I am not going to allow my daughters uh, to dress and appear and do things like the world. And I'm going to do my best for as long as I can to to uphold that standard. But this is a big problem today because most children don't see any issue with this because. This is what the parents are teaching them, or even worse, this is what the parents are letting them know how to watch on TV and the internet and the computers, and this is what's being taught. There was a movie a while ago on Netflix, and we got rid of, I got rid of Netflix because of this situation, where they were sexualizing young women, young girls, children, young children, uh, pretty much dancing around like strip t strippers on stage. And I had no part of that, and I deleted uh, Netflix. And there's so much out there of always sexualizing children today or exposing them to this, whether it's the dolls that they play with, whether it's that the transgender movement that they're allowing kids to be part of, and in many instances are literally part of, whatever it is, it's just, you couldn't be more against the Bible than what's being allowed today. And when we look at these things and we look at the scriptures about things that are allowed and things that aren't allowed, we have to understand you're either for our creator or you're not. And that's the bottom line. And the Bible says and sets a standard of what we should expose our children to and what we shouldn't. And certainly what we should teach our children. In the Shema, it says, teach your children the way they should go. As you rise and as you go down, teach them the way they should go. That's what it says in, in Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 9 in the Shema. They certainly shouldn't be going the way of the world. And the makeup and the over-sexualization of children today is had started way back when in the Egyptian cultures and with them with the makeup they wore on their face and, 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 the, and the, the, the obsession with shaving and, and just, you know, walking around half naked and the over-sexualization of the whole uh, culture then has gotten in and this has created this identity crisis amongst uh, people today and they've ming uh, mingled the seed way too much. Hopefully, if you're watching, you agree but even more important, hopefully you don't agree. Hopefully you disagree with me so much so that this is the first time you're hearing something like this where it's raising your attention to think, wow, you know, I never heard something like that before. And uh, the fact that if you agree with me and I'm sending this message to you or you're watching this video, I'm not here to tickle ears. I'm here to, to make people aware of things that they don't know of yet. So hopefully you've never heard about this before. You never thought about this before. And if you disagree with me, hopefully you'll look more into it at least, and then uh, come to see the real major issue is. Because when I go on the street and I see uh, women that are dressed immodest, or, or your girls that are dressed immodest, teenage girls and so on, and you look at their mother, and they're just a reflection of their mother, uh, is the way it often usually is. And so as parents, we need to do our job to understand what modesty is and, and set an example by actually living it. And we must come up against it. Now, if you're in a particular situation like me, where it's a split household and, and uh, you know, it, it just creates more challenges, but even more so, we should raise the standard and the bar, you know, and, and it's a biblical standard. It's not my personal 
opinion standard. It's a biblical standard. And again, I pray that this message is going to reach people and people are going to take this more seriously. No woman, especially children, should be wearing high heels, form-fitting clothes, makeup. I call it fake up. Lip gloss, uh, perfumes, and all this stuff. And it is a complete deception by demons and demon possession that's going to allow a parent, a mother or a father, to allow their child to walk around the streets like a prostitute, attracting the attention of men. It's just a sick, demon-infested society we live in. And this must stop. When you can't tell the difference between little girls and prostitutes in the way they're dressed, when children are dressed more provocative than strippers, and this does include allowing your children to go to the beach in, in these skimpy bathing suits and bikinis and all this stuff. Again, it all stems often from the mother and just look at the child. You see a child in a string bikini, the mother's gonna be in a string bikini. <laughs> it's just a sick society. And this is what Satan wants. So we must stand and be a part. We must be a part. No matter how much the world is going to go against it or call us extreme, we need to be extreme. We need to be extreme for Yahweh's word. Hallelujah. And our children are the most important thing that we're going to leave when we, when we leave behind and, and, and the lessons we teach them. As it says in Deuteronomy, teach your children the way they should go. The way they should go. So prayerfully, prayerfully, uh, you parents out there are going to look at your children and if they are dressing immodestly, maybe they caught some, so they have some friends that are setting a bad example, but more times than not, it's you. So look in the mirror yourself. And for a father to allow that nonsense, absolutely not. You do not let your daughters walk out of your house uh, in, 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 in looking like the world. And your sons, you do not let your sons walk out of the house with their, with their pants down to their knees and their underwears hanging out. This is a sick, sick society that people would allow that to happen. And a lot of it happens when we, what we allow our children to watch on TV or on the internet. So we need to uh, monitor the situation better and spend time with our children and, and nurture them and, and teach them the way they should go according to scripture. So that was a very important message I wanted to share. Uh, please share this with others that need to hear it because you would think I'm talking about people out of the church, but I'm not. I'm talking about people in the church because there's so many women in church today that are dressed immodest, completely immodest. And it's just sick. It's just sick. And to allow kids to, to do the same thing. Listen, people will disagree with me. People that want to wear what they want to wear with their tight clothes and revealing their, their chest and wearing their fake up and all this stuff. And they can say, well, show me in the Bible where it says a sin to do these things. I pray right now in the name of Yeshua that that demon leave your thinking and leave your, your worldly ways. We are not to be one with the world. We are to be set apart. We can be set apart. And yes, you can be beautiful without those things. It says in the scriptures, let your walk create uh, your beauty. Let your, the way you act, not the way you, you're dressing down like a sexual object. Many of you ladies out there struggle with this. Many of you men out there struggle with not being men and allowing this to happen. But it's time you all wake up and say something and do something about it. You know, some people say, well, I'm not going to follow your ministry because you talk about these topics and they're very controversial or they go against my beliefs. I'm not here for numbers, folks. I'm not here to, to see how popular I can get. I'm here to share the truth of Yah. And I pray that uh, somehow, some way, uh, His Word through me is going to uh, wake you people up because I don't care what anyone tells me, what anyone says. No child should be walking around wearing makeup and skimpy clothes and it all comes from Egypt and Babylon and all the enslavement of the past. And if you're an adult and you think it's okay for an adult, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, everybody, put your comments and questions below and have a blessed day. Y'all be with you all and shalom, shalom. Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world, 